is up everybody as you can tell this isn't like any video I've done before uh, typically this is a fishing channel where I just fish but uh, yesterday I was out fishing I saw something that I believe to be a small meteorite striking a lake while I was fishing um, I rolled the clip real quick uh, to show you guys and then I'll explain why I believe that this was an actual meteorite I know. Is that a fish? I don't know how anybody could throw a rock that big, that far. Alright guys, so I have the video in Premiere Pro, and I'm going to show you guys what I believe is some evidence that this thing was in fact a meteor striking the lake. So right now I'm fishing, and all of a sudden I hear a splash in the middle of the lake. Me and this gentleman over here think that someone had thrown a rock. So we look over here, and there's no one standing over here. Um, which is kind of weird, because it sounded like someone had literally just thrown a rock. But since there was no one over there, I look to my right, and again, there's no one over there. So this is really weird, because this rock seems like a very heavy rock um, to be thrown that far. Um, but looking at it, like... There's no way anybody could have thrown a rock of that size that far without us noticing them. So after I ruled out that was probably not a rock, at least of Earth origin, I thought that this might have been a fish, like a bass or something blowing up on top water. But the issue is this lake does not have bass. Alright guys, so I have it zoomed in right now. We're going to go frame by frame. I'm going to show you why this is not any type of fish. So that's the initial hit right there. But we see that the water is going straight up. And there is no indication of something coming out of the water like you would expect for a fish. Uh, typically, you know, a bass or something would jump out of the water where we would see two splashes or something. And, you know, water would be going everywhere. But this is a, it looks like something had literally fallen. And, you know, the water is coming straight up. Like, this is a very symmetrical impact. And we see the water come up and come back down. But what's interesting about this actual impact that I think is probably an indication that this is some sort of meteorite is that if we listen to the sound of this impact, it sounds really big. But if we actually look at the impact itself, it was pretty small, um, which that means to me this object was very small but was coming in at a very high speed. Now it is some sort of misconception that every meteor is a big loud object that smashes into the ground at high speed, but this isn't always the case. If a meteor of the right size and density came into the atmosphere, it will most likely burn up in the upper atmosphere, but sometimes on the way down this meteor may break up into fragments and slow down until these smaller fragments of the meteor reach a terminal velocity which uh, terminal velocity of the small rock ranges about from 80 to 200 miles per hour, which uh, I believe a meteor a little bit smaller than this, going around 80 miles per hour, could have resulted in the splash we saw. It's not rare for space debris to hit Earth's atmosphere. Every year, 400 metric tons of interplanetary matter will hit Earth. So this isn't a rare thing. What is rare, if it is truly a meteor, to my knowledge, it would be the first meteor we've ever recorded actually hitting water. Now, in all honesty, we don't know for sure if this was truly a meteorite or something else. If you have any idea, let me know in the comments. Now, I understand this video might get a different type of audience than previous videos because this is a more scientific topic, but if you are interested in fishing, please subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it. I hope everybody has a great day, and I will see you next week.